What is up guys? Just getting home from, well, work, but I had to run to Fry's and get Oreos. Ugh, anyhow, just getting home and I brought something with me. All right, well, can you guys guess what it is we're doing with this? No oh, shit, Bravis, it's the freaking title of the video, right? We're finally going to be filling the gap and making a sunroof. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Da, 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 da. You know what? All right, well, not necessarily a sunroof, but a sunroof cap. We're gonna start off with some protection. Okay, now that that's done, uh, I basically put this up here just so we don't scratch the hell out of our paint. We don't wanna scratch the car already. I mean, we haven't even got the drive yet. So, um, the way I'm doing this is I'm gonna cut this piece out a half of an inch oversized so that I have room to rivet it down. I know I said that I don't wanna rivet it right on top. I was gonna make it flush on the inside, but who cares what I said? This is how I'm gonna do it now. So I have half inch tape. This back side is a straight line. The front side is not, it has like a curve to it like this. So what I did with the half inch tape is I ran a nice straight line flush up against here. So now what I'm gonna do is line my aluminum up to this edge here. So I know that I'm a half inch over. And then from there, I'll just mark my line all the way around. All right guys, I got it all lined up where I wanted it. And now to check to make sure it was nice and straight, what I did was I measured, I took my tape measure and I measured from this point right here on the back of the roof, all the way up to the point here. Uh, I did that on both, Jesus, both sides to make sure that uh, it was even. And it was 36 and a half inches from here to here. I adjusted over there to make sure it was the same. Everything's good. So I got it all taped down into place so it didn't move around on me. And then from up underneath, just went around with a Sharpie. So now our line is basically marked. So we can take all this off and get our jigsaw out and same old dog, start cutting. Still have the pad on there. I'm gonna have to get that off and put some 80 grit on there. Anyhow, got it all cut out. So now just gotta go around it and clean it up with the DA like we always do. And yeah, where's my compressor hose at? Where did it go? These holes ain't no, I'm just kidding. It's right here. This hose be knowing better. 
I want you to understand something That when I come up in this job with the fans jumping I want the fist bumping in the air I don't look like a millionaire But I feel like a million bucks Ladies, won't you fill your cups? Fucking Mustang You know, I just realized that this video is a whole lot of hyperlapse I'm sorry, my bad I mean, I could slow it down for you guys if you want me to when you're down and trouble When you're down Screw that I get to bustin' like I'm a 30 out 6 when I'm ripping the beat up But then I heard he got pissed when I got up the top and they made him pretty hot Cause he know when the tech and he needs a dirty chop He's handled, Holmes, he has a handful How in the hell he Alright guys, well there it is I went around the edges, got it all shaped up real nice and straight And then I marked the center You see that line there? That's the center of the material um, I started my holes off there and I just went left to right uh, Just marking it with my straight edge here. I don't even I think it's about two inches or so but Just so I have a nice even spread between all the rivets And I know that's a lot of freaking rivets dude, okay? I, I gotta count them, but that's a lot of rivets, but I think it's gonna look cooler. I don't know I just Having a lot of rivets up there because I'm gonna paint this black right now Obviously gonna leave the rivets silver. So, well, I just like the look. So, um, that's what we're gonna do. Not to mention, I wanted to use a lot of rivets because this is aluminum. Aluminum, I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but uh, in the sun, in the heat, it likes to expand. And if you have, let's say you have a rivet here, a rivet here, whenever it gets hot, it's gonna actually kind of bulge up. It'll get like a warp to it, you know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to just do a lot of rivets so that I don't have to worry about it bulging and misshaping. There, there's a lot of rivets there to really cinch it down and hold it tight. So what I gotta do now is get the 80 grit back out in a sander. I'm gonna sand this thing down, clean it up really good. Uh, get all the burrs and stuff off it from drilling the holes. I'm gonna set it up here and if you guys can see I marked on this on this um, transfer paper the center. I measured uh, left to right and I marked the center up here as well. So when I set this up here all I gotta do is just line up the centers and I can pre-drill all my holes before we paint it so that if I waited till after to drill the holes, then we're running at risk of scratching, you know, the paint. So we obviously don't want to scratch it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get this sanded really good, get it up there and pre-drill all the holes. And then we'll get it out back, man. So we can uh, shoot a really light coat of primer on it really quick and paint it black. Rappers up on me, depression a manic, I'm puffing on strong, only organic. This rap shit my passion, I had to talk with please we prop. Getting cash and twisting sour, oh my god, the superpower people send it. Hey, for the singer we chose, we dug in, select the homie flow, so sick to- Alright guys, so after I sanded it, I actually ended up sanding my center mark off, so I was like, oh, what the hell? But uh, I remeasured it, and this these two holes, I drilled that like, dead center so I measured it and I checked it um, so this was the center of the panel and I marked it but you can't really see it now with the screw in there but anyhow and I lined that up to the center mark that where I measured and I centered it on the hatch left to right so that I know that the center of my panel is in the center of the car and of course I double checked it with the tape measure and once again I measured from the back side of this all the way to the back of the hatch on both sides to make sure it's nice and even and everything's straight so I drilled the first two holes right in the center I put a screw here and I put a screw here so now I know that my panel is not going to move around so we can go ahead and drill all the rest of the holes out and we know it's not going to move on us so let's get it done Dude, look at that placement, bro. On the freaking money, dude. Like, right up on the edge. I mean, some of them were cutting it really close, but... 
we just made it focus on here and not inside the car right here <laughs> it don't want to focus right up on the edge dude All right, well, ugh. that's primer. You guys already know the deal. Gotta wait for it to dry, and then we'll knock it down with some 120. And of course, like always, the boys out here trying to hurry up before the damn sun goes down, which it's almost gone. Dude, chilling out here in my backyard on my little table, got my little chair and stuff, man. I got you guys with me. It's got me feeling like crap, dude. One of these days we need to have like a meet, bro. Fucking barbecue and shit. That'd be cool. Hmm. Anyhow, on the last video when I was talking about these other two builds, the Buick uh, doing the 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 Mad Max style lifted zombie apocalypse Buick. And the uh, stance out 88 olds. I was actually surprised that I got so much feedback from you guys. You know what I mean? Uh, I was expecting a lot of hate from that. Like, dude, really? We don't want to see these old fucking crap cars fixed up. But I appreciate that you guys actually want to see that, man. Because I'm excited to do both of them, honestly. I'm looking up some parts and stuff. Uh, like some universal lift kits and stuff for the Buick. Obviously, wheel spacers. Been keeping an eye on wheels. Something for the for the olds out there. Something with a real heavy offset on it. You know, um, I mean, we have the Mustang wheels. You know what I'm saying? But I want to mine something with a a real fat lip on it. You know, zero offset something. But... All right, I think the prime is dry. All right guys, it's a new day. I just got home from work. Uh, finished spraying that thing last night. Obviously the sun went down, like always. Um, but yeah, it's done. And it's had enough time to dry, so we can put it on the car now. If I can open the door correctly. Alright guys, for those of you who may not know what a rivet necessarily is, or you've heard of rivet, you just don't know exactly what it does. Um, these are rivets right here. Basically, you drill this size hole. They have different size rivets. So if you're going to buy rivets, uh, make sure you check your package and see what size hole it is you need to drill. Um, you So pretty much you drill that size hole. And what this is going to do is it slides inside uh, between the two pieces of material that you're riveting together. Um, and it's this little needle side is what you're going to see sticking out. And that's what the actual rivet gun goes on. Because this rivet gun pulls on that needle in which on the end right here it has like a little ball. Okay. Now whenever you squeeze the rivet gun together, it pulls that little ball through all the way up till the end until it sandwiches the two pieces of material together. You know, to where they can't come apart. And you keep going, and that little needle, I'm gonna have to hold it so it don't take off flying. That little needle will pop off, and it'll fall out of the rivet gun. And what you'll be left with is just that little guy right there, if I can get the focus. You know, what you'll be left with is just that little piece right there sticking out on the end. and. The back side has expanded now, bigger to the bigger than the hole that you had to put it in. There's no, there's really no way to say that without sounding dirty. Anyhow, so it expands and it pretty much sits.
singes the two pieces of material together and I really suck at explaining things. So I'm gonna get back to riveting the sunroof on. There's 48 rivets in that thing, if you were wondering. So you guys can see the reason why it is I like using the hyperlapse so freaking often is because when it's on hyperlapse, it doesn't record audio. That's why I got to put my fancy little jingles in there and that's when I get to use my fan. Cause I can't use my fan whenever I'm actually recording audio cause you wouldn't be able to hear me. That thing's freaking loud. But anyhow, what's up dude? Look at this thing. What do you guys think man? That looks sick bro. I'm, I'm psyched about this. I mean this looks freaking, this looks amazing. This is, see this right here is like exactly what I love, man. I've been really trying, baby. Contrasting colors, the black on top of the, the khaki color that we have here, and then the exposed hardware. Dude, I just freaking love that. I love it, man! What the? I would do a little dance right now. I would, I really would do a little dance, but. I don't know how to dance for shit, and I would look really stupid doing it. Not oh, screw it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh my bad. I had it on forward facing camera, right? I was gonna have it on selfie mode from a little dance, but I forgot, I completely forgot all that. All right guys, give me a second. Give me a second. See what I'm saying? Freaking loud, right? Anyhow, guys, that's uh, that's it for today's episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you hit that like button if you liked it. And follow me on Instagram and check me out on Snapchat because I have one of those now. So uh, snap at me or something. Whatever. <laughs> My kids make fun of me every time I try to say something cool like that. Anyhow, thank you guys again for watching and peace out. I'll see you on the next one.